Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. There is a good news for you, I am now available on Facebook. So you can follow me, and also don't forget to review my page, you can find the link in the description. And there is another news. I left my full time job a few days back, and now, I am working as full time on YouTube. But I need your support, and I know you will help me. In my channel, you will find this Patreon icon, click on this icon, and you will redirect to my Patreon page. Here you can become my Patreon. There are different rewards and level. You are free to choose anyone. And contribute some money to my Patreon. It will help me to support my channel. So today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Subscribe Lower Third. I am using the same 1080p setting, at 30 frames per second. Let's create a new solid for our background. This is optional, you can skip this if you want a transparent background. You can watch my previous tutorial to learn how to render video without any background. Check link in the description. It's time to create your text. I am using subscribe plus like plus share, as I always use in my videos. Let's change its font size. This is your character panel, to edit your text. If you don't see your tab here, go to the window, and select character. I am using Robo to bold italic font, with a font size of 72 points. You can download this font from the link in the description. Cool. Now add your subheading text. I am using the same text I use in my videos. Press V to select move tool, and align your text something like here. I am using light font type for this text. Also, I am using font size 48 point. And then align your text to the right. Our text part is complete. Now, unselect your layers, to add a circle shape. Our circle is going to be animating and revealing our subheading text. Go to the tools, and from the rectangle tool, select ellipse tool. This is my shape setting. Please note, I am using fill to a solid color, with 100% opacity. And my stroke is set to none. In short, I am not using any stroke. Now, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, to start creating a perfect round circle. Select the move tool and align it to the right of your subheading text. Make sure to make this circle at the same size of this text, so it will cover all our text. In case it is too big, you can always scale it by pressing S on your keyboard. And align it to the left. Perfect. Our design is complete, now we have to just animate our lower third. Go to around 3 seconds, and select shape and subscribe layer. Now press P to open position, and click on this stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now, jump back to the 2 seconds. Let's rename this shape layer, so that we can remember it. I am calling it dot. Perfect. Now change the first value of this position. And make your dot, to go away outside from the screen something like negative 450 pixels. Also, change position of this subscribe text too. I am changing the Y value of this position, to something like this. Our basic animation is ready. Let's start masking our text. Go to the shape tool and select rectangle tool. Make sure to unselect any of your layers, 
and start drawing a rectangle shape to cover all your subscribe text. This rectangle should not be too big, or too small, it has to be cover your entire subscribe text. Let's call it subscribe mask. Put this above the subscriber text layer, and then mask out your text. If you don't see your track mat tab here, right click, and in the column section, select modes. Now change your subscribe text layer track mat to alpha mat. And the magic will happen. Perfect. Now the third step is to animate our subheading text. Make sure to unselect any of your layers, and start drawing a rectangle over this subheading text. Put this rectangle above the subheading text, and in subheading text, change track mat to alpha mat. It will mask out your subheading text as well. Now, we have to only animate this subheading mask. We are going to use scale animation. But before, align its center point to the left edge. Select pen behind tool, and start dragging your anchor point. Hold control key on your keyboard, to attach it to the left perfectly. Now, select this shape layer, and make sure to click on this link icon to change the width only. Go to back to the something like here, and change the first scale value to zero. Perfect. Now, your animation is complete, we just need to set our timing for this mask. But before, select all your layers, and press U double time to open keyframes. Select all your keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Now select any of the keyframes, and click on this graph editor icon. You will see this kind of curve, select your keyframe, and start dragging this handle to make this curve something like this. Perfect, do the same with rest keyframes, this step is going to make your animation more smooth and more interesting. Cool. Our animation is complete, let's play this to match the timing. Everything is perfect, but my subheading mask text is not matching with my dot timing. Let's rename this as the free mask, to organize our project. Now drag your free mask layer to the left, and see if it is matching now. In my case, it's not. I am going to drag this free mask layer keyframe to the right, to match the timing. Perfect. It looks nice to me. Now our animation is complete. Ram preview this, and start using this in your videos. Thanks for watching this tutorial, in my next tutorial, we are going to learn how to make kinetic typography. Stay tuned, have a nice day.